which would be possibly extended by selectively infilling some of the docks with significant uses that reflect the success of the of the old city um, and, 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 and in some ways attracts um, <coughs> attract to move back and forth more. And then there would be raised pits around the edges where the new bridge is coming down, the Hitler Bridge, and where public transport networks are going to move along, connecting um, up to Pakistan as, as well. When the water is coming in to this, um, which would happen, of course, only very occasionally, but when it would happen, it would completely change the landscape. It would become a big body of water with the floating islands within and some buildings which would be standing maybe on legs projecting into this big space. And the proposal is really for two meter. <laughs> Speed up. This is one example of a relationship between the floating islands and the piers. And now the water catalog. <laughs> Just uh, if you can finalize and show you the most important slide. Okay, that's the most important slide. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the next team is preparing, and you, we have two minutes for questions. Anyone? Water is important. Water is important. The citizens long for water. Water could be a problem, as you have climate adaptation, one of the main challenges for Gothenburg, and of course for this area. Yeah, I was going to ask, what would happen when the water freezes and then leaves? Nothing. You would enjoy it a different way. Yeah, I meant the buildings, which you're suggesting that could be areas that could be flooded and not flooded. 
for the flooding, it's a quiet occasion. The river flood stays flooded for 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 a while. You know, so so it's, it's unlikely that it would raise and then freeze over. But the city would work in the meanwhile. That the, the, the whole strategy is to connect all these islands with a series of bridges and landscape formations, so you can move as completely independently. So the lower lying landscapes are really for lesser uses, and and are not the city are not depending on them. We'll always be able to walk around a piece of land, a floating island. <coughs> And you talked earlier today about spatial equality. Yes. Thank you, Susanna Hagen, and thank you, Danny Essen. And now we turn to Matt Stewart.